Hi there, it's Gaz from the Blog Generator. What I'm going to do is give a quick overview of the Blog Generator and how to post from a new search in there. Okay, so this is the front screen of the Blog Generator and we're going to click on the, obviously the new search button. Uh, within the screen, we've got a couple of options and we've got our search term box. In the search term box, we're going to put uh, whatever type of articles we want to get the uh, new searches on. So in this case, we're going to let's go for article, article marketing, or marketing tips. We're going to just for overview purposes, we're going to leave the search engines being Google, and we're going to leave the option as being for today or for the last 24 hours, and we'll go off to get the new stories for today. As you can see, we brought back the headlines for. Uh, the top news stories for today and we'll just select select, uh, we'll select three of them and we'll just have a look to really click view selected articles the blog generator is going to go off and it's going to scrape from the original website scrape text from the website and return it back to the downloaded articles area to view what text has actually been scraped and brought back if we double firstly we can either double click and it will show the text and we'll see we've got a pretty decent article here that we can actually use or what we can do is we'll do it on the second one we can right click and view article context and again it likes to show you the article in there as well let's have a look at the third one as well that looks quite good as well but so we'll leave it actually we'll leave it this selected with two and we're going to add them into the spinner screen we've also left the option of including the article title uh, in the spinner screen as well uh, what that means is when it's passed through the title stays in here i have surrounded this by html bold tags so it, it actually splits the articles up slightly i did find this actually come in handy when i had multiple articles together and i just wanted to break it up a bit they didn't really quite flow into the one article together and i just thought it actually come in useful so on this screen which we've called the spinner screen because we can spin in here obviously we can either we can upload some more text in here uh, and that will actually put it at the end of all of this text that's in the spinner screen here we can add automatic spin syntax of course we can add manual spin syntax in here as well say for example if we double click the word tips we can have other We could maybe have something like useful tips or maybe something like handy hints. And um, we click back in the main part of the screen and it actually puts the spin syntax in there. What we're going to do is we're going to remove this. I'm actually going to remove this from here because we're going to do an automatic spin. So what we can the easy way to do that we click reset text and click yes we're sure it'll actually remove any text and take it back to the original text that was actually put into this screen. Just for demonstration purposes, we'll go off and we'll uh, do a spin from Spinner Chief. We've also got the option of basic auto spin. I'll go through what that is in other videos, and I'll uh, obviously in other videos we'll uh, I'll go through the sort of ins and outs and the finer details of everything actually on each page. So as you can see, we've the article's been spun. Spinner Chief's passed it back, and the blog generator has actually highlighted all of the spin syntax in red just to make it a bit easier for you to actually for you to see and read through so you can so obviously what we normally do is go through and give it a bit of a check and check everything's okay uh, we're going to go off to the next screen and in the final screen we can add in the project name so we could come in and we could say this is actually used, uh, news daily tips uh, we're going to give it a title by default it's put in there uh, it, it's put in a default title in there for our old blog obviously we can call it what we want to what we want in there but we'll leave that one in the search term has been put into the keywords field we can add our own keywords and we can upload keywords from a comma separated file just to make it easier we can add a category if we don't add a category and it will just post it in as being uncategorized and then finally we select the urls we actually want to post and we'll just send this out to one just for demo purposes after we posted we can ping the index and services as well uh, uh, what we're going to do is we just send this off and post this off to our blog so it goes off to the blog it posts it 
uh, returns the post ID and the permalink for the post. And that's it. That is actually posted off to our blog. Thank you for watching. I come back and check again and watch the other videos to do with the blog generator. Thank you very much and I'll catch you later. Bye.